demand the right to be heard. And I demand the right for my views to be heard in the Republic of Kenya, like every other citizen of this Republic. Harabe! Harabe! Tuwe na hishima rais wetu iko hapa. Mimi naona BBI itapita lakini umpeni mtu huyo nafasi. Please give him time. Wacha yeye aseme yake na sisi tufanye yetu. Asante sana. So your excellency thank you very much your excellency. I think it's in maximum respect of the nation we want to build that Your Excellency, we came here from all shades of political opinion. And that Your Excellency, I want to appreciate the leadership you provided in this process. Because I was among the first and among the people who are very skeptical about this process. And Your Excellency, when I read yesterday the report, when you explained to us in State House, when I went down and sat, I slept at four in the morning reading the 156-page document. Your Excellency, I must say to Senator Haji. Senator Haji and your team, I'm very proud of you there. Because, contrary to the skeptical positions we had, we are beginning to have a conversation on how to sanitize our politics. Your Excellency, it starts by what Governor Joe said. Being able to listen to every view. Being able to give opportunity, even that Rendile, Your Excellency who may never be the president of Kenya or may never be the prime minister, should have an opportunity to have a message to speak to the nation. Number two, Your Excellency, being the majority leader in the Senate, we in the Senate will stand for strengthening of devolution and sending resources to the grassroots. We, Your Excellency, will stand for ensuring that the devolution and centers of business are taken to grassroots so that young people at the local level get an opportunity to do business. Your Excellency, we will prioritize not the positions for the big boys, but for the opportunities for the young people, for the tea farmer, for the coffee farmer, Your Excellency, for every citizen of this republic to have an opportunity. And I want to say, I dare say, if it was not for your leadership, Your Excellency, I come from the, one of the smallest communities in Elgeo Marakwet County and one of the smallest communities in Kalenjin community. But Your Excellency, because of your leadership, I am proud to say I'm the majority leader in the Senate. We want a nation tomorrow where Arendile will say I am proud to be the President of the Republic of Kenya. We want a nation tomorrow that the mobilization and the ethnic mobilization of politics is a thing of the past. And that's why we are here. And I want to promise this gathering and the people of Kenya that this document will come back to us. We in the Senate, we in the National Assembly, we at the grassroots must be able to sit down and tell ourselves frankly, Junet, that a conversation of this nation cannot be clustered to form political alliances that are good to presenting other people to be anti this and pro this. God bless Kenya and God bless this republic. Yeah.